we are going to discuss storage structure that means the structure of the file which is containing tuples or records so here are the varieties so storage structure of file containing a table and table will be containing multiple rows or records it may be of the type heap file where there is no index and it is not integrated we can be storing our records onto a file where the file is of the type of shorted file where there is no indexing and also not integrated we can have the integrated file containing index and the respective rows or records and this index entries contain rows in this case and it can be of multiple different types like your isam indexed sequential access method we can be it can be of the type b plus tree or hash we are having separate videos for all these types you can watch them for the better idea okay now see index indices what is the downside that means there are some difficulties whenever we are having some indices that is additional io to access index page that means before accessing the record details i shall have to access the respective index so extra io operation is required for that so additional io to access index pages except if index is small enough to fit in the main memory index must be updated when the table content has got some modification some sql as, as example you can go for sql 92 the this particular sql does not provide for creation or any kind of deletion of indices but other sqls they are having this options so index on primary key generally created automatically by the database software so whenever we are making or putting some attributes as the prime attribute then against those attributes the index will get created by the software itself automatically otherwise we are having some vendor specific statements which are available to creation or the deletion of the index so one example we have given that is create index my ind on course relation on the course id attribute so in this way we can also create our own index as when required now we are having two types of thing one where this integrated storage structure that means the mechanism for locating index entries and the respective rows or the records they have got integrated in the same in the same file you see contains table and the main index so from here we'll be getting the respective row index and there you can jump and we can go and we can get the other details of the respective record so mechanism for locating index entries so this part and these are the rows index entries that is the rows are there and you can access the other details for that otherwise this storage structure is containing rows and this is my location mechanism and index entries are there so depending upon the respective index i can point to the respective row and from there other details will be obtained so here they are not integrated that means index file with separate storage structure for the records so we have written this one this is the index file that is a secondary index you can call in this case the storage structure might be a heap or a shorted file this is a storage structure which might be a heap or shorted file but is generally an integrated file with the main index so in this way we have defined that what are the different varieties of the storage structure of a file which will be containing the respective records thanks for watching this video